it's going to do all day long. Getting stranded last night wore me out more than I thought it would, but I've got to get back on the road. Seems like the rain wants to come with me, though. has really challenged me especially when it comes to the weather it's just not fun to always ride in the rain but I knew when I started that I would take a lot of experience and learning from this trip that I could take with me on future trips There's like three main points that I'm gonna carry forward from this experience The first challenge from this whole trip was just the riding for distance. My goal every day was to ride about 250 miles, and while it's important to have a reachable goal, like having a specific destination, I think I tried to travel too far each day using just highway roads. I think 150 to 200 miles is probably a better daily goal, at least for trips that I plan on filming. I think another way to look at a trip like this is just to forget how many miles I can do in just one day, but rather I want to ride as much as I can or as far as I can from this time to this time. Like riding from 7 or 8 a.m. in the morning until like 5 or 6 p.m. in the evening. And that would remove, I feel, all the stress of covering distance. Plus it'll give the bike enough time to slow charge overnight. I was planning our routes before leaving, I tried to do it in the overall shortest distance versus picking routes that had a good network of chargers. And there were a few instances where I was more concerned about the battery percentage remaining. That meant that I was usually pushing the bike to its limits of range. And there were a few instances where I was more concerned about the battery percentage remaining than just enjoying the ride. And I don't want to experience a trip like that ever again. Even though there were some growing pains on this trip, there was one thing that was never a problem and that is this motorcycle. It's the second one I've ever owned. I've had it for almost a year now and I can say that not once did I wish I was on a different one. I love everything about the motorcycle. I love the way that it handles, the way it sounds, the way it travels, the way it looks. I wouldn't change a thing about it and it's been a really great companion so far on this trip and it took me everywhere I wanted to go. <music> back over the last 2,500 miles, I'm reminded that in most situations that the journey is always more important than the destination. I think sometimes in life we get so focused on that first and last mile that we completely neglect the miles in between. It's in those miles I, th I think that our journey truly happens and that's where the fun really happens. Mm -hmm.